Girl, you call me by my name The love you give me, I just can't deny Yeah, No longer blinded, I can see I'm on my way to meet you We gotta talk, you know All these trials and tribulations got me tired, I need rest And I heard that I can't come to you when weary of my flesh You awaken me from death, God, I need you I'm more walking by the flesh, that's when I live God told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone, told me I'm, told me I'm Told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone Know that I'm someone, No, I'm a child of God I wanna go to Godly way, close to your love again I give my heart again, Jesus I wanna go to Cali way Close to your love again I give my heart again, Jesus I know you know me well I feel invisible until you tell me you're right here I cancel plans with you to be with Satan and break your heart Sometimes I go to you for what you give, not who you are I wonder if you leave for me God, just tell me what you need for me is the Holy Spirit telling me God, I'm asking you for clarity Even though you told me already God told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone Told me I'm, told me I'm Told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone Know that I'm someone No, I'm a child of God Good morning, my loves. How are you guys? Hope you guys are good. Um, first of all, I wanted to say happy birthday. <laughs> I hope that was a sharp. So, um, it's the 16th of June today. So, yeah, happy youth. So, um, I know that a lot of people are having plans today. It's the long weekend. But um, I decided to try something different for myself. So yeah, um, I'll be spending time with God. You know, I'll be meditating in His Word. Yeah, it's something that I think I really need to do and get back into because I stopped for like a few months. I stopped reading the Bible. I stopped fasting. I stopped praying. So I really think that I need to get back to that. It's important for me to get back so um as some of you know if you've been following my channel for quite some time you know that there's been a few changes in my life and yeah some of them have affected me very negatively and i can feel myself kind of like being depressed like i'm getting into that depressive state and i'm really trying so hard to get myself out of it because i need to leave you know i I don't want to just survive. I need to leave. I need to feel my emotions. I need to experience love at its purest form. I need to experience happiness. I need to experience peace. So I feel like um going back to, to my father, to my God, and asking for help and you know, spending time with him, being intimate with him in the sense of um worshipping him and letting him speak to me having a deep conversation with him and just letting him into my presence you know inviting him into my space and inviting the holy spirit to dwell in my heart i feel like um that will help me a lot to get back to where i was um before my 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 father left before my dad died so I think I need to get back to that because I have I still have a lot of anger in me and I still have a lot of questions that are still left unanswered and I need I need clearance I need clarity so yeah I think spending time with my father will really really help spending time with the Lord will really really help me and will give me the peace that I desire because I really really need that i really really need that that inner peace you know the inner peace that only the holy spirit can give you 
that is what I need right now. So I'll be spending time with my father. I'll be meditating in his word. I'll be reading my Bible. I'll be praying. And yeah, hopefully I can take you with me, guys. <laughs> Saturday today my mom went to church this morning so it's around two o'clock right now and I'm alone so yeah um I had two clients today coming in for for their nails so yeah I'm done with that so I'm alone now I can have time with my father today morning it has been weighing heavily on my spirit on my heart that I need to you know ask strength from god and not rely on my own understanding because doing that has affected me in a very bad way and yeah i think i really need to like ask god for for hope and the ability to endure on this journey because right now i need his guidance you know we need to rely on god's love and strength for us to continue on this journey of difficulties and trials and tribulations so it's important for us to put our eyes on our creator you know and um yesterday night i was reading the book of daniel which speaks about how daniel was such a faithful and humble man before the eyes of god you know daniel went through a lot of trials and tribulations in his whole life being a servant of nebuchadnezzar king nebuchadnezzar so yeah um he was such a faithful and obedient servant of god you know um he was really tested in the most ways that if we are tested some of us would fall but he remained humble, he remained faithful, he remained very firm on his belief of God and knowing that God is his only savior. So um, the way that God revealed himself to Daniel, I love that because God was able to reveal himself to Daniel because of his humbleness. It was a result of his humbleness to God that made God move. And so um, I love the revelation that came from reading that book of Daniel because um, throughout all the tribulations that Daniel went through, he remained very humble. Like I said before, he remained very humble. So to me, it says that even after all that I've been through, even after all the, you know, the the trials and all the emotional roller coasters that I've been through, 
I need to still run to God. I need to still believe that God is my Savior. I need to still put my faith in Him and know that He is the God that will never leave nor forsake me. He is the God that has put me thus far. He is the God that helped me to move from some of the um, situations that I cannot mention, some of the situations that were so hard for me and putting my trust in Him. He made me able he, like he, he pulled me through them he worked with me through them and i know that um, i can also put my faith in him in the situation that i in, in right now you know losing my father i never thought that i would be one now a single parent at this young age i'm only 22 i thought like i'd have my both my parents till i was about like 40 you know, I would marry my father when I have kids, when I'm married, my father would be able to walk me through the aisle and, you know, have a daughter dance at my wedding with my father. But unfortunately, that cannot happen because it's no more here. But I know that, you know, like he, he becomes our father. And one thing I have come to realize is that God doesn't want to see us hurt. He doesn't want to see us dressed in darkness. It makes him angry to see us that way. This is why in his word he said that we must cast all our burdens unto him so that he can carry them for us and so that we may find rest in him. The more we are covered in darkness, it is the more we do not look like him. And God made us in his image, you know. That one fact alone being made in God's image, that fact alone just saves us. You know, God wants us to look like Him. God wants us to look like Him. He wants us to be holy. He, the more pain that goes into our lives and the more we hold on to it, is the more we do not look like Him. And we are made in God's image. The more we do not let him carry our burdens for us so that we may find rest in him is the more that we turn away from him is the more that we think we or no there's no god god does not exist why would he let me go through that being made in god's image to look like christ that means that you are saved you are freed from all the trauma that you went through through all the past mistakes and all the you know, everything that you went through, it means that you are free. Because God wants to see us very enlightened, you know. He wants to see us very happy. You know, God just wants us to look like Him. It's all He has ever wanted. To be righteous as He is righteous. To be holy as He is holy. To be set apart as He is set apart. You know, I can confess that this year has been one of the most years ever in my life the months already it's already six months into the year but i can testify that this year has taken up so much from me and i have lost people along the way people that meant the most to me you know i've lost friendships i have lost relationships i have lost my parent so but it's okay you know it's okay I have lost all of that because God is setting me apart, you know. And I just told myself, you know what, let me let me love God more than I love intimacy. Let me love God more than I love relationships. Let me love God more than I love friendships. You know, we actually love things that destroy us more than what is actually good for us. More than what is actually beneficial for our souls. It is to the point where we can't even see that what's meant for us is better way better than what is destroying us and then what do we do we blindly walk into misalignment we blindly walk into what we think it's good for us you know we blindly walk into the arms of what seems like love but isn't it actually isn't love and i've realized that it is actually what is actually pulling us away from real happiness the happiness that is found in the holy spirit the happiness that is found in jesus you know so where i'm at right now right now was building a relationship with god um, a relationship that is so intimate and so authentic to the point where i can say i can confidently say i know god i know god and i know that what he has for me is greater way greater than anything i desire anything that i've been desiring 
what God has in store for me is way greater. I know that God will restore whatever that has been lost. God will restore. And so when the temptation rises and I feel like backsliding, I remind myself, I remind myself of who I am. I remind myself of who God says I am. I remind myself of who I love. I love the one that died for me. You know, I love the one that loves me most. Most. But I feel like God is the all-knowing God. He's omnipresent. He's forever there. So he knows what I've been through. He knows everything. He has been with me through all my life, you know. So he knows everything. And me coming to him, it's easy for me to come to him and just, you know, cry my eyes out and just let him see what's inside my heart because he already knows it's easy for someone who already knows what you have been through you know to be there for you to guide you and to lead you so and you know i may feel like my strength is gone right now i may feel like you know god is way far from me and he cannot even hear me but the bible says that day that we upon the lord shall renew the strength you know so I know that me waiting upon him, me waiting on the Lord will help me renew my strength. You know, God will give me the everlasting strength that he alone can give me. And I know that one day I will look back into this moment and I will say that God did it. And I know that he was there. I will know that he was there for me and it will become a testimony for me. I will know that God's love is real. I will know that God's promises are yes and amen. And so, yeah, this is where I'm at right now. This is where my relationship with God is at the moment. It is at a, relation, at a point where I need Him the most. If I ever needed God, this is time where I really, really need Him the most. So, yeah, um, this is all that I had to say for now. In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground. Firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace. When Still and striving cease My comforter, my all in all Here in the love of Christ I stand All I want is in all I need Give me God Because everything I am I'm Beautiful name.